Department of Justice can do what the Department of Justice wants to do, and I don't think any type of encouragement from Liz Cheney, I don't think that they'll be receptive to that at all. We knew as around this time last year, FBI in insiders were actually saying that there were no, there were no prosecutions coming up for Donald Trump, or at least they didn't find any evidence that Donald Trump or anyone in his orbit were involved in the planning mm -hmm. of um, what happened on January 6th. So if the Department of Justice wants to, especially now, under a Biden presidency, you have a Democrat president in the White House. But I don't think that the Department of Justice, whether it's Liz Cheney or whether it's Donald Trump, the Department of Justice has proven itself that it's right. not receptive to politicians um, really interfering in their affairs. If there are crimes that Donald Trump or anyone around him committed, I believe that the Department of Justice absolutely will pursue that. But unfortunately, we have not seen any of that coming out of the, out of the committee. There are a lot yeah. of embarrassing things, a lot of unsettling things, even for some of us who've actually been critical of Donald Trump. There are a lot of unsettling things. But the thing is, is that what we were told, or at least were expecting, yeah. is that something criminal happened. And at this point, we don't have anything criminal. And until that happens, what Liz Cheney says is virtually irrelevant. All right, Judge Williams, what do you make of what Liz Cheney had to say? I mean, uh, she's calling for the prosecution of Donald Trump. That might be legally possible. It, there may be a legal way to do that. But what impact would that have politically? Uh, politically, it's not going to have a great impact for her. Uh, she's really down in her primary is likely to lose. Overall, the big picture here is that these committee hearings are for an audience of one. That one person is Merrick Garland. Uh, it may have an impact wider in the public. There have been a lot of people tuning in. I think it's caught fire where a lot of people expected that it wouldn't. But whether or not Donald Trump uh, stands trial for some of the obvious crimes that have been revealed in this hearing remains to be seen. Only Merrick Garland can answer that question. As for Liz Cheney, I think she's made her stand. I think the history books will remember her fondly, but the Republican voters will not.